I arrived in New Orleans. I was going to the Hyatt for a convention, and the meeting planner had arranged for all the speakers were going to be in the stretch limo. And a young driver named Stuart, I could see it on his name, came to get me. This was one of those cars that the, the driver was in the car with you, but was a block ahead. <laughs> and they had tinted windows. So when you're sitting back there in tinted windows, everybody you pass looks to see who it is. And the younger people in here tonight won't get this, but the rest of you will. I wished I had had re be able to reach in my purse and pull out something and roll down my window and stick my hand out at those people and say, would you like some gray poop on? <laughs> The younger people will have to Google it. <laughs> so it took Stuart a few minutes to get this car, this huge car, get it out and on the road going. So I waited, but I was just waiting, thinking, all right, we got about 15, 20 minute drive downtown. I'm going to be all right here. And finally I said, Stuart, you had to shout to get his, Stuart, how long you been driving people around? And, and the, he said, two years. I'm a student at Tulane to make a little money on the side. And I said, great, that's super. I just waited. Block or two later, Stuart, I bet you have seen some funny things happening in driving people around in New Orleans. And he said, yes, ma'am, I really have. Looked at me in the mirror. And I waited. Stuart, what's the funniest thing you've seen happening driving people around? And he said, the funniest thing, Ms. Robertson, is that's the same question you asked me when I drove you about a year ago. LAUGHTER